Well, here's the good news for Commissioner Rob Manford. People like the sport, Rob. That's good. They're, in, they're into it, man. It's great to see you, Commissioner. Thanks for joining us tonight. And, you know, I, I want to start this and, and just ask you, uh, listen, you're a huge baseball fan. You grew up a big fan. And just watching these games from that perspective, what has stood out to you there? You know, it's the quality of the games. You know, every game throughout the postseason really been compelling in its own way. So many late inning changes and leads all the things that fans want to see we've managed to deliver this postseason yeah commissioner Manfred, i don't know if our national audience understands what an enormous fan you've been of the game your entire life watching mickey Mantle and all the new york teams the first congrats on an amazing year these first three nights in the world series you're going to have almost 90 to 100 million people watching including japan how do you continue to build in the great momentum you have the last few years? Look, I think we need to stick with the things we've been working on the last couple of years, focus on our players. We've had a great infusion of talent into the game. We need to continue to promote those players. We need to make sure that we put the best product on the field, that the game's played briskly. And we need to focus on our international audience. You know, we're going to take the Dodgers to Japan first thing next year and try to build that audience again. <laughs> I want to touch on I just want to touch on the new rules because you know I know that when the new rules are implemented there's always pushback there's pushback from players there's pushback from baseball purists but when you look at it now it seems like it's been a seamless transition what's the feedback you've been getting now well you have the dynamic just right there you got to shut your phone off for the first four weeks because you're going to get killed it doesn't matter what it is I mean you're just going to hear a lot but I think the key to this was we had experimented it with it enough. Um, a lot of players had played with the rules in the minor leagues. And you know, hats off to the players at the end of the day. The players made a great adjustment. There was not a lot of disruption in the play of the game. And people got used to it in a hurry as a result. Absolutely. Commissioner, we have two games early this year in the Dominican, the Red Sox against Tampa. And it was stunning. Like people always. A guy like myself, when I'm around the country, they ask me, when are we going to have more baseball games in the Dominican Republic? I went like, when I get the opportunity, I will ask the commissioner what he think about. Well, you know, I went for one of the Dominican games. I think I missed you. I went for the second game. I think That's you were right. there for the first. But look, the Dominican remains a priority for us because of the makeup of our workforce. You know, the player complement, so many Dominican players. And, you know, as facilities continue to improve in the Dominican, you're going to see more Major League Baseball there. Absolutely. You know, Rob, I'm curious. We've had, on, on that line of questioning, we've been so lucky at Fox to do these really jewel events other than the postseason. I right? feel the dreams amazing. Rick Wood this year, which was so special, honoring Willie Mays. Curious, what else if you could let fans in? It's in the works of something special like that that may come down the pipeline. Well, next year's big show is going to be in Bristol, Tennessee. Uh, we're going to play at the Bristol Raceway. Um, this was uh, this one's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be a huge stadium footprint, um, and you know we, we think that we have a big audience in that part of the country that's a little underserved, and really excited to take baseball to that part of the country. Commissioner, you've seen what NFL has done on Thanksgiving Day, obviously, and NBA and NFL now with Christmas. Do you perhaps see July 4th as an opportunity for us? We love these big matches with these big markets. Any opportunity to grow that on July 4th? Yeah, you know, July 4th is an interesting holiday for us. I think it's one that we have not done a particularly good job with, and it's something that we're going to be focused on going forward. It's a holiday that we ought to own. You know, it's America's game. It's America's birthday, and it should be a big deal for us. Commissioner, as you know, New York is the capital of the Dominican Republic. There are more than 3 million Dominicans here. And as the game goes, as the World Series go, everybody asks me for tickets. So I was wondering, if I trade you one of these, will you give me like 50 tickets? 50 tickets. My dog. 50 tickets. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I got like 50 people outside of Wilco. I will tell you one thing. I don't have 50 tickets to give you to this baseball game. I gotta tell you something. I mean, that was cool. I really don't. Okay, next one, see you guys. I will tell you one thing, Commissioner. As you leave, uh, conceal that shirt. You're not gonna make it out of here. I'm not taking it with me. No, no. There we go. The Commissioner Rob Manfred. I got you, dog. Enjoy the rest of the World Series, Rob. Thanks, Thanks for coming by. Great Appreciate to see it, you guys. as always. All right, uh, all right. Commissioner you, is here.